Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast, it's Mickey, and in this video tutorial we're going to be making a local high score system that you can use in a game. This is going to be a pretty simple one, and we're going to be using something a little bit different than the default functions in GameMaker Studio. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. So we have a default project in front of us and you can download this in the description below. If we take a look at it, we have a room initialize. The room initialize has one object and that would be the object initialize. If we open up that object, you can see it has a create event. Then that create event, we have a to do here where we are gonna load the actual high score. Now our high score is a table, it's just the actual high score within the game. So if we open up our scripts and we go to high scores, we have two function statements here. We have one for load and one for save. And these are the two functions that we need to write. And one thing to keep in mind is when we save our files in GameMaker Studio this way, they're normally going to be saved in the app data local. And then just based on whatever your project is called. Now you can get around that by going to the gear icon and then going to Windows and you can disable the file system sandbox. But for this particular project, I'm totally fine with having it just the way it is. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to define a file which we're going to open write, save, and close. So we could have a VR file equals working directory. So this is wherever our actual game is, plus just the word high score. So this would be something like user slash Mickey, app data local, and then high score local slash high score. Now we have a couple of different options. We could do a if file underscore exists and look for that file name. And then we could have some code in here. And I will say that if this happens a lot, so it's in a loop, it's in a state, or sorry, it's in a step statement, then I would do something like this. But because it's just a one-off, I'm going to use a try catch. And try catch is new in GameMaker Studio 2.3. So we could say we're going to try this. And if something happens, we want to catch it and then we want to run some code underneath. So what do we want to try? Well, let's get a handle to our particular file. So we'll say file text, and what do we want to do? We want to say open read, and what are we going to be reading in this case? So file text, open read, we're going to be reading that particular file. Now that we have a handle here, we just say the global dot high score. And this is a variable that we created in our initialization object is going to be equal to file text read real. So we're going to get a real number and then we're just going to pass in the handle to the file that is open. Finally, if everything goes well, then we get to say file text close and pass in that handle again. All right, so what if our file doesn't exist? Well, that's where the catch comes into play. So what do we want to catch? Well, let's just catch whatever exemption that we have. And then in here, all we're going to do is we're going to say our global high score is going to equal zero. So again, if this file does not exist, it's going to throw an exception and it's going to come out into the catch statement here, which will then just set our global high score to zero. So now that we have this, let's copy the high score load. Let's go into the object in it and replace it right there where we load the high score. Now, if we take a look at our gameplay, once we click this button a bunch of times, we will be taken to a high score room. The high score room just has one single object and that is object game over. So let's load up that particular object. And if we go to the create event and you can see right here, we have another to do called save high score. Now this is only, only going to be called when the current score is bigger than the high score. So let's actually write that particular function now. So just like before, we need to have a file. And because I'm copying and pasting this multiple times, I would probably pull this out into something like a macro or just a global variable that will be somewhere within the file. The next thing we need to do is I, once again, we need to get a handle on that particular file. So we'll say handle equals file text. And then instead of saying open read, we want open write. And we want to open the file for writing. Next, we could say file text write, and we want to write a number. So this will be real. And we're going to use the handle and then the global dot high score. So that will write our high score into this particular file. And then the final thing we need to do is close the file. So we could say file text close and let's close that particular handle. And now with this little bit of code, let's go back to the game over. Let's change out the to do for the high score save. 
So now when we run our game, it's going to look for that file. It's going to load up that information. And let's see how many clicks we can get. I'm not even sure what the high score I have here is. So I'll just click a bunch of times and then we will see if we beat it. So the high score is 27. So if I hit R to restart, uh, I'm not even going to get to 27. I'll just click it a few times and just kind of let it stay like that. And the high score should not change. So our score is 10, the high score is 27. And now if we close our game, because we are now loading up that file, if we run our game again and we let the game go, I'm going to, going to click, uh, let's click three times. So one, two, three, then we'll just let the time run out. Our score should be three and the high score is set to 27. So that is how you do a local high score. And I hope you've learned a few things and I'll see you in the next video. Once again, thank you all for supporting my channel. If you like what you see and you'd like more frequent content, consider joining my Patreon channel, which is found in the description below. A special shout out to the following Patreon supporters in no particular order. Angel, Edward, Robert, Ian, Darthold, Paul, Victor, Phil, Ashby, Alex, and Annie. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.